Hey guys, John here with Sergeant Reds. Thanks for joining me. We're gonna go on a good old fashioned toy hunt. I uh, haven't done a video like this in a while, so it's about time, right? Nice little collection, it looks like, of uh, vintage stuff from the 80s. Some of it's on cards, some of it's not. So we'll go see what we can find, and I'll take you along the ride. All right, guys, so we're here uh, with Walt, and we're gonna look through some of this collection. Walt's dad used to have um, a booth at Gibraltar Trade Center where he sold toys and collectibles and things like that, and this is what's left. Um, there's some vintage stuff that goes back to get the Mego stuff from the 70s. Um, then you have newer stuff from the 90s. Um, you have some Star Trek stuff here, and we'll go through this stuff um, in a little more detail if we make an offer and make a deal on it. But you have some statues, some Elvis stuff, some Barbie stuff. The Crypt Keeper. Can't go wrong with the Crypt Keeper. That show was so cool. I wish they did better toys for it, though. Um, you got some Swamp Thing stuff in here. And again, as you guys know, conditions, everything. So this stuff is in car it's on card. So the figures are in good shape, but the cards, unfortunately, have a little bit of a little damage, but they're still neat. Got some Ultraman. Robin Hood. So a lot of these Robin Hood things, actually, like this was the Ewok Battle Wagon from Star Wars. So they reused that mold um, from the Star Wars toys. Some of it's a little bit different. Like that drum, I believe, is from the Ewok Village. Um, you got Hercules with Kevin, what's his name, Kevin Sabo, I think. Got the Shadow, I don't think I ever watched that. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, there's another line that they reused some stuff. I think Friar Tuck was a Gamorrean guard. Um, his body. Um, got a telescope here. So as you guys know, some of this kind of stuff, like I don't sell telescopes, but sometimes when you buy everything, you have to buy everything. Got some uh, Fright Gloves. That's clearly a knockoff of uh, Freddy Krueger right there. Because we all know Satan does not run around with gloves on. Well, I guess we don't know. Never met the guy. I hope I never do. Got a little, uh, what's that? Bram Stoker's Dracula. Some other random stuff in this box here. So this is some like 90s era uh, Marvel stuff. And again, these are they're, they're neat figures. They're, not a lot of collectability, but they are super cool looking. Um, so if you guys are into Captain America, the Hulk, there's stuff like that. You got Tarzan and the Epic Adventures, which is the worst toy line ever created. It's a neat set. Unfortunately, it's got a little damage. Yeah, Walt's over there laughing because he knows that, <laughs> that Mars versus uh, yeah. Tarzan is horrible. So your dad has a good mix of stuff here. Was he doing a little bit of everything? He did anything, to be honest with you. He, um, yes, he did anything and everything. Because he has stuff that goes, you know, you got oh, 90s yeah. stuff, 70s stuff. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Got a Batman bank here. I think Batman looks very, very unpleased with me and my savings. <laughs> me. And I, I don't think money's, I don't think money's coming out of that. That's yeah. not big enough for a quarter. It's not that woman coming at you. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I already have the soulless redhead who comes yeah, after me all the time. Yeah. So now this is what? This was a... Uh... That's probably from the 1960s, I think. Okay, it says 1938 on 38? it, but that might just be the... That's just the copyright, I think, of Lone Ranger. Yeah, I think that's But it. that's probably... It's Mark's toy, so it's probably 60s. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be cool. There's no gun with that, though? No, I wish. If they had the, even a gun that wasn't even working, it probably... But no, you know that's... Yeah, you got some little stuff here and there. So, yeah, you got some boxes. We got some superpowers. Yeah, there's your little roadster. roadster. That's from the 50s. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the 50s. So, so what are there 10 boxes total? Roughly? Nine, eight, well, yes, nine, okay. uh, but two of them are combined, so there's actually Okay. Can, can you do us a Fat Albert impersonation? Do you remember his voice? Uh, 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 That's actually not bad. <laughs> you have a future I actually, in a... Believe it or not, I played the football game against Southwestern. Did you? In the PSL uh, quarterfinals. We played a gentleman named, uh, I believe his name was Tony Green, and he was the tailback. Oh. He was 301 pounds. Good Lord. And we looked exactly like Fat Albert when we tried to tackle him, so... <laughs> Yes, there is actually, there was actually a fat Albert at one time. He went to Southeastern High School. Really? <laughs> I remember watching that. There was another kid who had a hat over his face, wasn't there? Yeah. I oh, there he is right there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you think, yep. geez. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, That's about yeah. as good as you're getting from me. So, do you collect anything? No. Wow, the only thing I do is you see downstairs, I got a few posters. Yeah. I've been in the posters and stuff and some, a little bit on the, um, 
car side, some of them. Like real them. cars or like fake cars? Yeah, no, no. I've got a buddy, and I used to work for Ford and for Ford Racing and for Ford, um, uh, what they call it, SVT, special yeah. vehicle team that sells the Raptor and the Cobra. So I worked with both of them, and I've got a friend, uh, um, his name's uh, uh, Leo Capaldi, and he races for Ford okay. Racing right now. He's doing the uh, racing dark horse. Nice. So they're releasing that. I don't race anywhere. I drive slow. Yeah, the speed no, limit. No, no, he, uh, yeah. Uh, no, we went to the Grand Prix this year, so we oh, really? enjoyed that. I was, had the opportunity as a young kid to go a couple times, and that was nice. So I've always kind of enjoyed it when we came back downtown. I, yeah. We had, I took okay. my family, and uh, we had a good time. It was a really nice time. All right. All right, guys. Well, me and Walt are going to talk a little bit, and then... Uh, you don't use this to look at the neighbors, right? <laughs> no, you know, the only add to that is that was something to do with the Atlas. Okay. Uh, so you got an Atlas, you bought an Atlas, and that came Oh, out so you can look to try to find the... Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Uh, it's what that came out to be. I, I, yeah. yeah. All righty. All right, guys. Well, we're going to look through these a little bit closer. All right, guys. We're back at the shop. Uh, it's been busy all day, so finally the sun is starting to set. It's just still muggy and swampy out, as you could tell. I'm glistening but uh we have a sweaty john over here with a sweat rag look at this man i mean why are you so sweaty john it's hot out and how you been inside with the air conditioning and your atst chicken walker all right look here so we're gonna show some of the stuff we got what's this oh that's for an old shelf that was already in there all right you want to do some pulling out in so john no you never been on youtube before have you all right, so we have one of these. This is a this is definitely a restoration piece. I want to say he threw the uh, steering wheel in there somewhere, but I think we got a good location for that. Let's pull that out. And I oh, there's the bell. Maybe that's what he threw in there. So Walt had a bunch of stuff. Uh, if anyone wants a restoration piece, boom, we have it right there. And then we have I. This is some kind of baby walker. Yeah, what, what year do you think that's from, John? I want to say that's the sixties. You think it's the 60s? I don't see if there's any maker's marks on it or anything. Um, sure is dusty. So if anyone knows what that is, obviously I'm not a pedal car expert. Uh, we came to an agreement on a price and he said, but you have to take these pedal cars. And I didn't want the pedal cars. John, do I like pedal cars? I hate them. I don't hate them, they just take them a lot of room. Like, where am I gonna put this? Like, that doesn't fit in the shop. So if you guys are local and want a pedal car or a pedal, like steamroller? What's that gonna? This is true. There we go. True Matic from Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not raw. I mean, it needs to be repainted. But you could probably clean it up. It wouldn't be too, too bad. You want to do the honors and try to grab that uh, doozy back there? Indubitably. Indubitably. Here's a bag of air. Oh, oh. <laughs> Careful. Careful now. This is, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is uh what year is this from? This thing's pretty cool. Oh wait, Junior Sportsters. So it's like a pedal car. I never heard of Junior Sportsters because I am not a pedal car guy. I'm sure someone will tell me how horrible of a human being I am because I don't know what it is. Looks like we're missing a tail light, but I think that's the horn back there. Like right there, that uh that spell thing. Is that a wasp nest in it? Where's the horn? That I think that orange thing is like what goes on the in there. Oh, that's a sight no one wants to see. I will make sure if that got on video, we edit it. Is that what that is? Yeah, looks like it. Does that go there? There you go. Doesn't really work. All right, let's take that down. There's supposed to be a windshield, it looks like, too. All right, so some of the stuff you guys saw. I mean, Tarzan, the epic event. This, these are a horrible tour line. I think I have uh, Tarzan meets the Martians or something. Unfortunately, the box is a little roachy, but there is some other cool stuff in here. Um, do you want to grab that brown tote up there and we could kind of transfer some of this stuff over? The one that's on the porch. We got a half boot Skeletor there. What else do we have? It's like I said, it's a, it's a mix. So we have some like Toy Biz, which as you guys know, Toy Biz is not uh, great. Um, we got some Eco Warriors from G.I. Joe. Another one, Eco Warriors. That was after my time of G.I. Joe's. And then we have some superpowers. You got tire there with the card. I wish those were on card. 
We do have a pocket superhero Wonder Woman. Um, again, obviously, that's been stapled back on the card, but those are still pretty neat pieces. All right, John, here's a quiz. These are two Mego pocket heroes. Who is that green guy? Uh, that is Aquaman. No, oh, this green guy. Oh, the other green guy. Uh, that's uh, Captain Green Guy. Take that shirt off. <laughs> okay, I don't know who it is either. It looks like a Buck Rogers guy. I know everyone always gives me a hard time because I don't know, like, Lost in Space, Black Hole, Buck Rogers. I never watched that stuff, so I don't know who that is. I know who the rest of the guys are. Then we have some Remco monsters here and a Captain Kirk. Or no, that's not even like, Kirk. Kirk wasn't in the movie, was he? The first one? Wasn't it some other guy, Carter or something? I don't know. I'm not a tricky. Yeah. But we got some Remco guys there. We got a couple more. We got Draculas with yeah. capes and the, uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon. We have a naked thing. <laughs> Migo. We got some Centurions here. Those are always fun. There is the one that looks like my dad when he was younger. I forget his name. Uh, Migo Shazam. I don't know who that is. Got the Joker. Um, I think that's Destro's backpack. Ooh, an Enterprise rental car. Car. And as you guys know, I hate crusty cardboard boxes, so I'm going to transfer this stuff. Or I'm going to ask John kindly, don't put that on the bottom. You'll crush it. And I haven't even showed that yet. Yeah, I'd say put this bag stuff on the bottom first, and we'll put the card and stuff on top. So we do have a, a Cyborg here, and that's probably the, the rarest, if not one of the most rare uh, superpowers figures. So he's pretty cool. Again, a couple more uh, Toy Biz... Toy Biz is not really a desirable line. A giant Lobo statue. And of course, we have to look under the flaps to see what we may see. Nothing good. What is this box anyways? Look at this Kroger, the Eggman. You think Shane will want to try to sell that box? John, do you want to cut that box up? Yeah. So John's claim to fame is he was here helping. John, do you want to tell the story of how you no, you you cut because you were breaking down boxes to help cut down the Kenner minifigure Star Wars orders. figures? That's all I gotta say. Is I Jeez, orders. I've never been so happy to be angry in my entire life. <laughs> all right, so we got some other stuff in here. And a lot of this '90s era stuff is not really like the Shadow stuff. That's probably like a ten dollar figure, you know. A lot of that stuff's not really super high end. Uh, Tails of the Crypt, same thing. They're cool figures, but they just don't have a ton of value. Someone's lost. We're closed, sir. Um, Robin Hood. We got another shadow figure. I don't think those are all going to fit, are they? We're a try. We got some um, Power Ranger from the movie figures on card again. I don't think those are super expensive. These might be, I don't know, mid 20s or, you know, 30s, stuff like that. I think I showed you guys that stuff. You see that? The Star Trek Communicators. Mr. Mr. Fix It for a Day. That might have been one of your things. That's what we call John. He'll fix our electronics for a day. They're turning around. This is not public property, sir. Net launcher. A uh, little Power Ranger guy. What is that? Ultraman Defense Fighter Jet with bonus pilot figure. Some more Ultraman. Uh, what's the young man's name that was in here earlier today looking for Ultraman? Jordan. We have some uh, Ultraman for you, buddy. Ooh, the mask. From zero to hero. Another Ranger. Ooh, your favorite. It's the Lionel Mickey Mouse Express. I don't know. Why isn't it? Derek, I got a Raphael for you. Um, some Lady Death posters, Mad Magazine, Talking Viewmaster, Real Captain America. And anyways, guys, you know, as you know, if you see anything in these videos, it's something you're interested in, just let us know and we'll uh, try to work out. Is that like a, oh, that's an antenna. Antenna, like, do they, it's not com. it's not that old. Do cars even have antennas anymore? Not like the big wire ones. Even your old car. All right, what we got here? Another Ultraman. That's pretty cool. I've had that in the shop before, but not in the box. Alien series intruder. And this is, John, can you use your two-handed power to lift that out? That is the Robin Hood Battle Wagon, which is actually a rebold of the Ewok Battle Wagon. So 
Kenner redid that, and I think they did a couple other Ewok things, and they redid them. So that's pretty cool. Kevin Costner. What do we got in here? Nothing underneath there. Ew. Disgustingness. What's this box? We always got to look. Is it anything cool? Uh, family, va family, blah, 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 family values, flat foam plates. Exciting. All right, we're gonna get some more out of the truck. All right, we got another, another car to, or another box out of the car here. But more importantly, we have I Dream of Jeannie Red. This is the very special edition of uh, Red, where she's got her genie pants. And Denise, give us your best Fat Albert impersonation. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, come on, you got bored, Mona. Try it. Hey, hey, hey! No, I can't do it. Hey! I want to do like the Santa Claus. Thing. Uh, do the Santa Claus thing. No. It's... Come on, do it. It's Christmas in July. Ho, ho, ho! Interesting. What's your best Fat Albert impersonation? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! That wasn't too bad. All right. So this box is. That's not that's not vintage. That's '99. So we got a Planet of the Ape catapult and wagon. I think I showed you guys that. Uh, I don't know what that is. Child's guy. And you got a little shadow statue in there, an Elvis statue. Oh, we do have a gentleman who always comes and look for Elvis. So we have that. Space Jam. That's the Michael Jordan one. And ah. oh yeah, it's just a statue. All right, I'm gonna keep dropping it, but that's all statues. A couple Barbies. My little Barbie, my little Barbie. What are you doing? They're talking smack about me because they're whispering over there. Have fun. Me and John are going to sweat for a little while. Oh, go ahead. I'm switching toe. She's being very, very thoughtful and considerate. Unlike you. Unlike you. Unlike you. All right, next box. All right, so we got some more Ultraman here. That guy's got some cool music. All right, let's see. Clash and Thrash City. That's pretty neat. I remember watching Ultraman when I was younger with my dad. And I would watch it. So we got some Swamp Thing carded ones. Like I was saying earlier, um, a lot of this 90s era stuff. It's cool, but not super expensive. Like this Obi-Wan, you know, maybe 10 bucks, 15 bucks, if that. Um, we got an original Ghostbusters Egon in there. It looks complete without a broken uh, wand. That's always good. There's another one with Winston. It's probably a little more than five bucks now. So like I said, Walt's dad did um, a booth at the Gibraltar Trade Center. So that was kind of, for those of you who aren't, are not from the area, it's like a big indoor like flea market type thing. It's gone now. So we got all four of the Ghostbusters. I wish these boxes were in nicer shape. I just actually sold a set of Swamp Thing to a gentleman. I don't know if all these ones were in there. He bought pretty much all the ones I had. Um... Mine were in a little bit nicer shape than this, though. Some aliens. The evil Unmen. So I remember playing with these when I was a kid. I had this, and I did a custom with him and turned it into Driss Duard from uh, Forgotten Realms. Or uh, was it Forgotten Realms? Yeah, uh, Forgotten Realms. By Jack. Snap up Swamp Thing. Did you ever watch Swamp Thing before? No, sir. Good lord. What kind of child did you have? All right, uh, there's a glow-in-the-dark bio-glow swamp thing. So is this a piece of something? Does this go to something, or is it a broken piece of something? It looks broken. Like some kind of broken toy. Yes. Nothing in there, but a little bit of disgustness. Ooh, sweetened coconut. Yum. All right, I'm gonna get the next box. All right, so we got some more Star Trek here. We got a Galileo 7. What is this from? I don't know if that's a remake or it's an original. So we got that. Then we have some of these Galoob uh, Star Wars, Star Trek. Don't beat me. Some Star Trek figures and accessories. So this is like a Star Trek phaser game. Like a, almost like laser tag. But he only had the two phasers. He said he doesn't have any of the accessories that go with it. Starchki and Hutch, look at that. Nice. John here's favorite toys are the guy with the soup on him. What's his name? What was his name? I forget. 
I can't remember his you name. Remember. I can't. I'll remember it. I can't remember it now. Andy Warhol. Yeah, John used to have white hair when he dyed it. <laughs> now he's got a dirty blonde. Got data. Another data. Unfortunately, these, these Galoob ones aren't super uh, super pricey. Got Amigo Captain Kirk. Amigo? No, you go. It's my store. Ha! Ha! Willie! What would you do if they had an episode of Star Trek where they ran into Mel Mac and met Alf? <laughs> would you watch it? Yeah. So you gotta do her on there. A little crusty box there, but cleanable. Yeah, so this was the one. This is the one that didn't have Kirk in it, right? Or did, no, it did. I'm stupid. I don't know. I never watched this one. Not a big Trekkie. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. What was the first episode that had no Kirk? This bald lady. Bald lady. Bald lady. Bald lady was on clearance. Captain Kirk. So, yeah, who else we got here? Decker. Wasn't it Decker? Is that who it was? Decker, Decker, Kirk, Scotty, Kirk, McCoy, Spock. There's Tasha Yar, Tasha Yar, Worf, Riker. I liked him better without the beard. Or no, what do you say? I liked you better before the beard? I don't remember. Q in some episode. Oh, speaking of Q, there he is. Handsome Devil. Picard. Some alien dude. Some lizard alien dude. And a Ferengi. All right, let's get the next one. I'm going to take all this out and check into this box, though. All right. Hey, hey, hey. We already said it. <laughs> Got a color form set. Star Trek motion pity picture. Uh, what's it called? Silly Putty. The Fright Glove! Ba, ba, ba. Fright Glove 2! So this is like a... What is that, like an Oh yeah, that's a knockoff for sure. What's in here? Mystery bag. Nope, oh, there's some more Migos. You got a Gorn. I haven't even gone through all this stuff yet. I kind of just like looked through it and... Sometimes it's a risk. Like, sometimes you make an offer, and it's like, okay, I'm not going to look through everything. I see enough stuff here to make this offer, and hopefully there's some stuff in here. When it's boxes like this, and it's like, you just don't have time to go through it all. What's that? Stompers. Ooh, that. Yep. Yeah, Bram Stroker. So, John, there's probably some of these stompers probably need to get fixed, and you want to just grab that case? Yeah. All right. John is our Mr. Fix-It. How many stompers have you fixed that have stayed fixed? 40. Liar. <laughs> So, that's cool. Remember Ever Ready Batteries? That's like a bank. I like that. That's cool. That looked neat. On a shelf or something. Like these little lunch boxes, those don't go for much. Those things are like a couple bucks, you know. Especially the ones that are filled with chocolate. Brandy from Geeks Meets Eats. Follow her on uh, YouTube. She eats crap, like random stuff. So, uh, we'll see if she wants to eat some butterscotch buttons from 1998. Budweiser cards. Uh, what's this? Ooh, is it a checkbook? No. It's a car. Delivering checks. So it's supposed to look like a checkbook. It tricked me. But it looks like it's got some water damage. He said some of the stuff was where it was leaking. What's that? Norelco. Ah! Behind the scenes footage here at Sergeant Reds. Look at that. Behind the scenes footage. Cheese. All right, what we got here? Mad Magazine books. Those aren't super expensive. What's that? Lionel anniversary thing. Some little Batman uh, books. Those are cool. Again, not a ton of money. The Star Trek customized card game is a dead game. Talking Batman alarm clock. That looks like some John magic right there. The Keep Fit the Pleasant Way. Oh, what? Whoa. Keep Fit the Pleasant Way. Is this old? No. That's just like a remake. It's kind of like a cardboardy material. We've got a little book down here of Dick Tracy. Don't you love Dick Tracy? Is he one of your favorites? Silence. I got a silence. We got an Elvis book. Oh, wait. Is there another Batman clock? Is there one in there? It felt like there was one in there. So we might have two of those clocks. Hey! Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, Larry Merlico. Did I just say Larry Merlico? Mo? Yeah. It's been a long day. I think I'm getting... Some heat sickness out here, John. <laughs> a 
couple more of these little lunch boxes again. Those things are kind of like, man. Hey, you know what's funny? This is the cologne I used to wear, Pi, when I was uh, younger. Denise, do you remember that? Yep. I'm glad I got a bottle of perfume. I don't need it. It's empty. I have yet to open one of these and find a dead, dead animal or mouse. One of these days. One of these days is what I'm going to find. That's Walt's collection right there. What did Walt collect? Let's see. You got some cars. I think this is a bunch of like McDonald's, like Happy Meal things. Little uh, model kits. Ooh, bubble gum from the Casper movie. Yeah, I think we're going to need one. Look at that. Batman gum. You want to try it? Oh, that's cool. This is a candle. I think that's a candle. It feels like a candle. I don't see a wick. Mmm. Mm, me, Frankenstein monster. Those are some big ass scars. He needs a better, st better stitch job there. Some alien for Christmas. That's cool. I like this kind of wonky stuff. Um, I think that goes to... Is that a Centurion piece? That might be a Centurion piece. I think that goes to Centurions. Those are the guys in there. You remember the ones in the bags with all the holes in them? I think you put them in there. Buddy L Space Shuttle. Uh, what in God's name is going on with poor Robin? Look at him. Yeah, he's having a bad day. The human torch. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, some McDonald's toys. Oh, what is this? I actually have one of these upstairs. Oh, what the Pocahontas. Okay. I just have that green part. I didn't know what it was. Um, Smurfs. Another eight ball. Power Ranger candy gum. Some other, like, gum stuff. And a Union Pacific train. Teletubbies. Top, 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 top. I think this probably goes to one of these little cars in here. All right, I lied. I thought it was getting nicer out, but it is still really muggy and I'm swimming over here. It's delectable. Are you sweating? Is your, your sweat rag working? Like it's gotta be like 90 degrees, like 160. Like if you live in Florida, I don't know how you deal with this. Or Louisiana, or somewhere where there's like swamps. I got some swamp right now in Michigan. And you don't want to know where it's at. All right, I'm gonna go get another one of these boxes. All right, got the uh, next generation inner space series, it's like a micro machine. I got some cups. Which ones are these? Oswald means order. And you got some uh, Batman here. You got Bruce Wayne. Yeah, those guys. I'm teaching John the way of toys. He knows not. So you got the Batmobile here. This is one that has that cocoon that protects it, just like the movie, and it's actually in there. So this has been opened, but it looks like it was complete. I'll take it out and do a more thorough check on it. But uh, We showed this bank earlier, but that's the uh, smug Batman who's mad at you for not saving enough. We got the Superpowers Batmobile here. Uh, that one does look like it has not been really played with, but it is uh, in the box there. I have to get better at like showing the stuff, you know? I'm, I'm trying, guys. It's uh, I know I've been doing this for a while, but I just should get a GoPro type thing. That's what I should do. That's what I should do. Some Batmans, Robins. Uh, a little Batman stunt cycle. You know what we're going to do? Boom, that's going to be our... Uh, or thumbnail, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll put Batgirl up there, too. See, I'm always thinking about that. Like, after the fact. Like, I should have probably done a thumbnail, but... Uh-oh. Yeah, that Robin Migo, his leg's broken. But those are uh, a dime a dozen, honestly. You can switch the, the clothes out is where the money is on that. So, John, I'm going to make my thumbnail shot. What do you think? That's going to be very... W would you want to watch this episode of Sergeant Reds, if this is what you saw? All right, no, I'm not, what? All right, there we go. That's going to be the thumbnail. Maybe not. 
So we got the giant Mego Batman who can't breathe. We got the little Mego Batman who can't breathe. We got Denise when she dresses up like a superhero. Got another Robin. Again, this one's got a rough, rough uniform there, outfit. Costume, I guess, not uniform. Another Batman. Another Mego Robin. Look at that look on his face. And we got this Bat Cycle. Is that Mego? I'm not sure. Looks like the kickstand was broken off. I wonder if that little plastic piece was that kickstand. It looks like someone tried to use clay to hold it on. So, yeah, we'll have to take a gander and see if that's it. And a little Coke thing. Batman. Ooh, Shane's going to like this. Shane likes listing old, like, Happy Meal trash. <laughs> Batman Forever. Again, these, these aren't super expensive. I mean, there's a couple of them here and there that are worth some money, these 90s Batmans. But I literally just got a collection of them in the other day. It was like 18 totes, and most of them are under, you know, 20 bucks. Most of them are under 15 bucks. Most of them are like nine bucks, but who are we kidding? There's, uh, uh, Happy Meal garbage. Here's all the lids of those cups. There's another Batman pocket hero. There's a Robin PVC statue. And what's this one? Na 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 Batman. Do you have a cape? Okay, good. This cape's in there. In cape, you were wondering. All right, let's see what else we got in here. I haven't found anything good underneath any of these yet. Mm mm mm. Delicioso. All right. Well, I think we got one more box, guys. All right. So we got this collector case. It doesn't feel like there's anything in it. And that is because there is nothing in it. And then we have some superpowers. Oh, what's, what's in here? What's in this bag? Mystery bag. We got a Mighty Mouse. What is that? Looks like you're supposed to be holding something. Maybe it was a flashlight or something. And what is that? It's Charlie M. No, it's not. That's it you. Does. That's you. Alright, um, so we got more superpowers here with the cards, um, some are complete, his arm looks busted, but sometimes it'll snap back on. Samurai, he's got his weapon in there. So with the superpowers, the weapons and everything, you gotta have all the, the stuff. As with any collectible, completeness, cleanliness, and uh, condition. You can just toss that. I don't want it. That Nerf gun. There's no darts for it. You want it? I don't want it. Got Shazam. Super, Superman. Aquaman. Plastic Man. Dr. Fate. And then we got some G.I. Joes. I don't know. We just looked at him. Oh, uh, look. Here's a Storm Shadow. No, he's not complete. Because he's supposed to have nunchucks and a bow. And he's kind of yellow. We got Flint. Cyclotron. Yeah, Mr. Freeze there. The Joker and the Penguin. Mechanical Roaring Roadster. That looks like a John special right there. Alright, and we got some uh, Happy Meal. We got a He-Man here. Hey, John. That looks like a John special. You got those bands still? John changes the bands on He-Man because he's a madman. Clark Kent. I think that was the mail away. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And looks like we got some Scooby-Doo, Happy Meal toys. Yeah, some Batman erasers. We got a Battle Cat in there. Globulus. And that's about it for that. What's this? A toothbrush? Oh, that's a Star Wars toothbrush. Look at that, John. Vintage Star Wars toothbrush. And there's a couple more things that are not going to go in boxes. I think I showed you guys the uh, that Target game thing. I showed you those. Those things are eh, garage sale fodder as far as I'm concerned. Um, 
Got like a little poster there in Looney Tunes. Frame, those are nothing really fancy, nothing super expensive. Those are probably a couple bucks. Um, what year is this from? Uh, 94, so a little older. Not as old as this thing, which is the uh, Lone Ranger. Look at that, that look cool hanging up. What you think? It's like an old Target thing. Probably for like little suction cup darts. And then this is like, um, let's see. So this is like a promotional thing for, um, open immediately, oh God, let's do it. We're not gonna. So it's like something for Peter Pan, probably for like a blockbuster or some kind of home video thing. So that's like a standy maybe. Some kind of display stuff, so it's pretty cool. We'll get that pulled out and see exactly what's in there. Um, but not right now, because it's muggy and gross out here, so we got a bunch of stuff. John is here. But overall, not a bad little uh, collection. Some of the stuff's a little rusty, a little crusty, but uh, at the end of the day, we got some cool stuff. And a lot of this stuff, like I said, guys, is going to go in the shop. If there's anything you see, just shoot us a message on Instagram or something. All right, guys. We're going to get the stuff ready. We're going to get it put away. And uh, we'll see you in the shop. Tra-la-la! -la! Come to the shop.